Good morning everyone, this is Rocco coming at you for my second 11.4.2 drive. We are on our test route 1 and as you can see our GPS is uh, really off this morning. So much so that uh, my mirrors aren't even folded out yet. There we go, because we got up to speed, they have unfolded automatically. Um, I'm going to see what it's going to do. Actually, no, we don't want to do that because we're going to be on the highway. I feel like they really need to uh, fix this. Real oh, quick, I wanted to check something. Okay, everyone, sorry about that. Um, I did to check something on my phone before I got on the highway. Model Y in front of us up there. So I don't expect to have any improvement here. Uh, getting onto the highway, but we're gonna see. So exactly what this car is doing is what my car should be doing. And what my car is gonna try and do is pass it, which is not good. Yeah, so that needs to still be improved. Uh, it it needs to, to um, turn on this blinker and get do exactly what the car in front of me did. like the really good lane change performance I was seeing all the way back from Michigan. As soon as it like was catching up to the car, it immediately got over and finished speeding up. It's gonna pass and then we'll see if it gets over again on the right. Actually no, see that's that's what it doesn't do. I had to make it get over on the right. The only time it would get over is when a car came up on my bumper. So like the car in front of me just did, my car should be getting over as soon as it passes this one but it's not going to until a car shows up on my bumper. At least I don't think it's going to. Yeah, see right now it should be able to change lanes. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it to go ahead and change lanes. This is what it should be doing. I shouldn't wait for someone to come up on you on the left lane to get over again. So this car cut in front of me and then slowed down, or rather stopped accelerating. But this is really good behavior because previously, Navigant Autopilot would try to get over. This car's coming up on my left fairly fast, um, and my car just wouldn't be able to pass the car in front of me uh, at the speeds they're going. I think the issue with that lane change is now that this car on my right is probably going to speed up to 70 and we're just going to kind of sit next to each other so I'm going to up at the 72 and see if we can get past this car. This is why I think there should be a pass and offset in terms of speed. I, I would probably put set 3 to the 5 mile an hour pass and offset so it would go 3 to 5 faster than what I'm currently going to pass the car and then slow back down. So here's an example of somewhere the car needs to get over. So I'm going to make it go ahead and get over. And this car, unfortunately, is accelerating pretty well onto the highway. Actually going faster than I am. So that probably wouldn't have been a big deal. My car just would have slowed down a tiny bit. So we're going to go ahead and get back over. I'm actually going to slow it back down to 70 here. Or not. Okay. Because it thinks we need to pass this person. The problem is they're not going that much slower than me, I think. This person's coming up on my rear end, so it might decide to get back over in the right lane. This is why, again, I want the pass and offset. This would prevent a lot of interventions for me, which is adjusting the speed for when I pass. Because like, it's passing so slowly that it just annoys and impedes traffic flow from behind me, annoys the people from behind me. Which I would be annoyed too if someone went to pass and like you're only passing this person at one mile an hour. Like don't just stop even trying. And it's probably you no, know, because we're we're gaining on this black car here quick enough 
I, even though there's a person behind me pretty close, it's not going to get over. But I think once we pass this car, it's going to go ahead and get over. Especially because we're getting close to our exit. It's actually not going to. See, this is the behavior I would want to see. We're close enough to our exit that we just need to go ahead and, even though we're, this truck is going slower than we want to go, uh, we need to go ahead and get behind it so we're ready to get off the exit. It needs to thing. I, that, it needs to go to about two miles back for, a, and not necessarily one mile back, in my opinion. Okay, so what we're gonna look for here, I don't expect this to be improved. This is something that needs to be improved. I'm gonna let it slow down all on, on its own. And it should already have the blinker on. Yeah, see, this is this is not good. It's it's crossing the solid white line here at the very last second to get over. I don't know why it waits so long to get over. That's not good behavior. Navigate and autopilot had better behavior because it would get over sooner actually, uh, to take that exit. Let's see how smoothly it does this change. So, uh, if you didn't see it, I actually did this video, did this route, um, last week, uh, yeah, last Tuesday, uh, no, Thursday, sorry, last Thursday, because we were headed up to Michigan, and this is the route to go to my parents, and... paying attention um, and it was uh, like what 5 a.m. 5.30 a.m. something like that and so we got zero disengagements on that drive but there's no traffic so this is going to be a better test of this route now that we have some traffic of course uh, there's really only a few areas that need improvement getting off the exit is one Get in and the main intersection uh, towards the end is the hardest part of this entire drive. I like that. Um, I would have gone through that yellow light. I would have actually sped up, but um, yeah, I think that's that was appropriate right there. That's that's what I would like to see. The jam on the brakes for that. I, I see no need. Now maybe for like a true over taxi, you can play it safe. As long as there's not a car behind you that could possibly rear in you, you know, stop the light, be extra safe. Um, but for my purposes, I would rather just go through it. So again, this needs to go ahead and slow down. We're going way too fast over here, especially coming up to a red light. Now over this bridge, I pretty it needs to drop to 35 mile an hour over the bridge, and then right as we cross the bridge, drop down to 30, and then you go down to a 20 mile an hour as soon as you hit this light. shouldn't be changing lanes in the middle of that intersection. Uh, it should not be doing that. And then we have to see if it stays in the left lane. That was fixed in 11.4, that one, as that it stayed all the way over in the left, far left lane here, which is the only appropriate lane for the direction we're going. This right of the left turn lanes should only be used to go to the bank or Joey's Bagels. So this is, I would have gone. Yeah, see like that car did. I would have gone. Okay, I, I'm having to press the accelerator just because there's a person behind me. Okay, so yeah, it, it found, it's still hesitant. Oh, so that person actually used it appropriately. They got in the, and they turned it into the bank, okay. Yeah, so that person in front of me did not. Uh, they chose the right lane to cut in front of me. 
but um, yeah, so it made made it through there. It's still really hesitant. I, I don't remember your name if you're watching from Yaman Space um, on Twitter, but um, that blinking yellow, fortunately, still had a lot of hesitancy. I had to press it through because there was a car coming up behind me, uh, and my car just wasn't wanting to go for some reason. And so blinking yellow is still have a lot of hesitancy. I, I suspect that's um, purposeful at this point, which is starting to get, it's almost starting to get to a point that it's uh, a bad thing in terms of it's less safe to be that hesitant. That was a good behavior. Even though that truck cut in front of me, my car only slowed just a tiny bit. Okay, last final bit right here. Let's see what it's gonna do. This is, it should probably stop. Um, oh, darn it. Darn it. <laughs> that was gonna go in front of a car and cause a head-on collision. Simple as that. Okay, well, oh, darn it, everyone. That ruined it. If I pressed it through with the accelerator, it would have completed, but I, I just don't understand why it can't do that yet. Ah, it's doing so good. Okay, well, that's the only reason. Like, this was just as good um, as 11.4.1 until that. It just can't. It seemed to be too hesitant. If it committed, it would have been fine, but it didn't hesitate. It would start, like, if it stopped and stayed stopped, it would have been good and just, you know, uh, it had been solid, but it then it started moving forward again. So, can't let that happen. Um, so yeah, that, hopefully that's not the theme of today. But, um, yeah, I guess that's, unfortunately, that's how it's gonna end. Um, appreciate you watching, uh, look forward to the next video, going to Target, I haven't done that test in quite a while. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks everyone. Bye.